What's up guys, Android Noah Sex here with a tutorial on how to play Minecraft on Android. First thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description and it will bring you to this page right here. You want to do this on your Android phone. Tap mindroid.apk. Then tap the download button. As you can see in the notifications bar, it will start to download. Once it's done downloading, just drag down the notifications bar and tap the download. Then tap install. Now once it's done installing, you're going to want to tap open, although it is not going to work. You need to open to be able to work. Next thing you want to do is go to your computer. I'm running Mac OS X, but I'll have special instructions on my website on how to do it for a PC. Go to your username, library, application support, then scroll down until you see Minecraft. Then you're going to want to tap saves, and then you're going to want to make a duplicate copy of New World. Now drag that to your desktop. Then what you want to do is you want to rename it to World 1. Then when your phone's plugged into your computer, make sure it's on USB mass storage device mode. Just drag it in. Don't put it in any folders or anything. Just keep it on your SD card. Now back in your phone, make sure you have Astro File Manager installed. This will allow you to be able to move the files. Now once you open that, scroll down until you see World 1. Now long press, edit, then copy or move. Now you want to scroll up until you see dot Minecraft. Then saves and then you hit paste and now you can see World 1 is in there. You want to make sure it has a level.dat file. That will make sure that it actually works. There we go. So we actually have ours. Now, in your application tray, you can go back to Mindroid and it will actually work and it will load up a world. And bang, there's the world itself. Now, as you can see, you can use the bar on the right to move your vision. And then you can use the little square on the left to actually move where you walk. And the little rectangle above the right square is for jumping. All right, so we're looking around. It actually loads, renders really quickly. So you hit menu, you can see all your options. Now, I personally do not like inverted. So I'm going to change it from inverting the Y to not inverting the Y axis. As you can see, there are a whole lot of different options that you can use in here. You can go into interface and you can control what the left stick and the right stick and the right tap pad do. Hand motion options. One of the cool things is you can actually move it around as if it's an augmented reality device, which actually works pretty well. I was very impressed by it. You can change all your height, how far you can jump. One of the things I noticed is when you tap jump, you can actually tap two blocks rather than in normal Minecraft where you can only jump one block. So you can change all the colors, you can change how your world loads, how it renders, how far you can see on it, stuff like that. How long it takes to render chunks. And all right, I'm going to go back to the game. And the gameplay is actually very, very smooth. I was very impressed by it. One of the things you have to note, though, is it is not full Minecraft. It does not change from light to day. You're not actually able to craft anything. And there are no monsters or really animals or anything. It simply just does not have the rendering power to be able to do that. You are, though, able to use tools and place certain blocks in certain areas. So you'd be able to build a cool house and stuff, but I guess considering it never turns to day or it never turns to night, you wouldn't need any torches but you still don't get the option to build anything if you wanted. You only get your preset amount of blocks. But you know, if you're a true Minecraft fan, this is still pretty awesome and it's, it's definitely the next step to moving towards something better. So anyways, that was my tutorial on how to play Minecraft on Android. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'd love to hear anything that you guys want to know how to do on Android. Alright, I will see you all in my next video.